Okay, let's talk a little bit about equivalent fractions on a number line, representing them on a number line. So what I've drawn here is a number line, and I always want to get oriented with my number line by seeing where one hole is. And in this case, looks like this entire thing represents one hole. So let's go ahead and start with the easy fractional amount. Where would one half of this hole be? And the hole is here to here. And obviously, it would be approximately there. And what I'm saying, be clear that what I'm saying is this amount from here to here is one half of the whole. So that would be one way to say one half, right? If I took each of the halves and times them by two, I'm getting two pieces instead of one, and this half is times by two, I'm getting two pieces instead of one big one. Now, how many parts would it take? Well, let's go ahead and label them. There's one, what would I call that? A fourth, one, two, three. It takes four of this amount to create the whole. So I call that a fourth. And then from here to here would be how much? Two fourths. And I'm just gonna line them up because they mean the same thing. From here to here would be three fourths. And if I had all four fourths, that would be equivalent to having the whole thing. So already I'm seeing some equivalent fractions come out. Did you notice that I could, describe this amount by saying I have one half of the whole, or I could say I have two fourths of the whole, and I'd be meaning the exact same amount. Let's take it even a step further. What if we took this half and divided it, not in two parts, but I mean multiplied it to get even four parts, not just two. So if I times the half into four parts instead of one big one, let's see what happens. So I'd have one, two, three, four parts in that half, and then one, two, three, four parts in that half. So now I'm saying from here to here, how would I describe that amount? How will I know what the denominator is? Same as always, I ask myself, how many of this amount would it take to create the whole? And the answer is eight. So I know from here to here, that amount is describing one eighth. So what would this be then from here to here? Two eighths. And I can just keep going, have it from here all the way to there. That's representing three eighths of the whole. How about here to here? That's four eighths of the whole. And while you're creating your number line, you're gonna find you're stacking up equivalent fractions all along the way. Um, so this would be, that's four eighths. So this would be five eighths. And from here to here would be six eighths. And here to here would be seven eighths. And if I have all of them, I have all eight eighths, which again represents the whole. So um, let's talk about some equivalents you see. And I don't like how crooked that line is. Sorry about that. <laughs> um, I see as several ways to represent one fourth. I see several different fractional amounts that represent one half, one half, two fourths, four eighths. I see several fractional amounts that represent three fourths. And I see several fractional amounts that represent one whole. Different fractions representing the exact same amount using a number line.